G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and in today's video I'm going to take you through how to install and configure Postman so that you can build and test your very own Salesforce Marketing Cloud APIs. So as you may already know, Salesforce Marketing Cloud has an entire suite of APIs that you can use to access various functions within the platform. You can find these by simply googling Marketing Cloud REST API and going through to the Salesforce Marketing Cloud documentation. What you may not know is there's been a new release recently. We now have a whole new reference section for these APIs. You can choose the reference option here and we have our brand new API documentation set. And as you can see, there's a lot more APIs documented, including the brand new custom object data. We can see here the endpoints allowing us to get custom object data by key or by ID. That's right. We now have a documented way to return data from a data extension using the DE's key or ID. So with exciting news like that, there is no better time to get to know how to use Postman and how to set it up so you can efficiently test and run your very own Marketing Cloud APIs. So to begin with, let's go and download Postman and I can show you what it's all about. To download Postman, we can go to postman.com then choose the product dropdown and select the download Postman link here. This will bring us to the download Postman page where depending on your version or PC, you'll find your download link here. I'm using a Windows PC 64-bit. Now bear in mind that this is to download and install a program on your computer. So if you are on a work computer or in a work network, you may want to check in with your system admin first to make sure you have permissions to download and install a platform like Postman. Once downloaded, you can run the installation of Postman. Now if you get stuck, you can return to the website and go to the resources and support link in the menu. Click on Learning Center Docs. In the Learning Center, you can go down to Get Started, Install and Configure, and choose the Installation and Updates link. Once here, you can scroll through and find the various installation guides for your Windows, Mac, or Linux computer. I unfortunately can't show you the footage of how to install Postman, as I already have Postman installed. But once you've completed the installation guide, you can then launch the platform to get into Postman. When you first launch Postman, you may encounter a page like this asking you to sign up or sign in to continue. I recommend signing up using your personal email address. That way you can keep all your collections and details in case your work email ever changes. When you first log in, the page looks something like this. You can see I am logged in. I can see it's a pretty blank environment so far. First thing we can do is go and create ourselves a brand new workspace to use for Salesforce Marketing Cloud. This will be like our folder to use for all of our Marketing Cloud activities. We can do this by jumping up to our Workspaces menu and clicking on Create Workspace. I'm going to choose a blank workspace to start with and go Next. I'm going to call this one SFMC. I'll make this one a personal workspace just for my use and I'll go Create. Now I have my very own Salesforce Marketing Cloud workspace, which I can use for all my Marketing Cloud activities. The next thing we want to do is to download the Salesforce Marketing Cloud APIs collection made by the Salesforce Developers Group. We can do this by going to the Postman Salesforce Developers workspace and having a look at our Salesforce Marketing Cloud APIs collection. I'll put a link to this one in the video description below. Once here, we can find our Salesforce Marketing Cloud APIs and find our three dots on the side for more actions. Click on more actions and scroll down to the export option. We're going to choose export, export our collection in one of our versions, or we'll choose version 2.1 for now, and choose export. This will download all these APIs into a JSON file into our downloads folder on our computer. And there it is there. Back over in Postman, we can navigate to our collections folder by choosing collections, you can see that we currently have no collections in this workspace. First thing we can do is choose the import button. By doing this, we can now drag and drop that JSON file we just downloaded into our platform like this, which will now install all those collection APIs from the Salesforce developers group. You can see here, they're all being installed and here they are. Now we'll jump through and take a look at all those APIs in just a second. But the first thing we'll do is do one more configuration to make your daily use of this package much easier. Now, if you're an architect or a consultant who jumps between multiple customers or instances daily, you find this one is gonna really help you out. We can jump into our environments configuration here and make a brand new environment for our Marketing Cloud instance. 
We can do this by going environment and choosing add. Now here, what I'd like to do is put the name of the environment or the name of the marketing cloud instance that I'm working in. So I'll call this one cam. Now here I'm going to have an entire list of variables that I can put into my environment. What we want to do is very carefully copy and paste our variables from our Salesforce Marketing Cloud Collection folder. That's this one just here, we can click on it. We can go to our variables option here and transpose the variable names across from our Salesforce Marketing Cloud APIs collection into our environment that we just named. So I'll start off with the ET subdomain. I'll copy that, go across and go paste. Go back in and copy my client ID once again. Client secret, MID, and then our token refresh time and our access token. And once we have those six variables all transposed, we can then go back into our Marketing Cloud folder and untick all those six variables, just like that. Now with that done, you may see these little orange circles next to these tabs. That means there's unsaved changes. So I now recommend pressing the save button. So we'll save our Marketing Cloud folder and the orange circle goes away. I'll now go back into my environment here, my chem environment and go save. And now those two circles have gone away. My changes have been saved. So now we're going to log into Salesforce Marketing Cloud and jump into our setup screen. We'll go to our platform tools, apps and install packages. And here we're going to make ourselves a brand new API key. So I'll jump in and go new and call this API Postman. And I'll go save. Now for our Postman, we're going to create a brand new component, for this Postman API. We're going to add component and choose the API integration and choose next. Here, of course, we're going to choose the server to server integration and next. On this screen, we can choose the scope permissions for our API. Now, since we do want to do some testing with our APIs in Postman, I'm going to want to test a few different API endpoints out. And so we am going to go through and choose all the scopes for this API. And this can be dangerous because, of course, if this API key was to get out, that would allow someone to do pretty much everything inside your instance. So if you are going to keep it safe and keep it secure, then you can use it for testing purposes. But again, I recommend keeping it as a short lived API for testing only. And make sure you recycle it regularly just to make sure there's no security risk to your instance. I'm going to jump ahead now and go through and tick all these boxes. And once done, we'll click on save. So now we have a brand new Marketing Cloud API. Now we can start to transpose these details into our Postman environment. Now, first thing we need is going to be our URL base. That's going to be the start of our authentication base URI here. We can copy this value and jump back into our Postman. Over in our ET subdomain, we'll put it into our current value. We'll paste this and remove the HTTP at the front and also remove the dot auth and onwards on the back. So it's just going to be that subdomain value just like that. Back into our marketing cloud, we get our client ID. Copy that value back into our postman and client ID will be client ID. Our client secret, of course, is our next one. Copy our client secret. And finally, our MID we can get from our drop down on the top here. Copying the MID and jumping back into our postman like that. And now we have our current values for our four key credentials to get a token from our Salesforce Martin Cloud API. We can choose save. Now with that done, our environment's all set up. We can now choose our environment from our menu here, choose a drop down, and choose the environment that you've now named. With that done, let's close our environments. We can close off our tab here as well. We can jump into our Salesforce Marketing Cloud folder by going to our collections into our Marketing Cloud Collections and we can see our messaging and journeys in our REST API and under Auth, we're going to find the Request SFMC Token option. If we click on that, it opens up a new tab, our Request Token just like that. You can see here a pre-populated variable. This will use our environment variable that we've got selected here. What this means is if you have multiple environments or multiple Marketing Cloud instances to jump between, you can quite simply come in here and create additional environments or additional instances, so you can very quickly with a drop down menu jump between multiple Marketing Cloud environments. How cool is that? But with my CAM environment selected and my request token ready to go, I can now choose send 
By doing this, it's gonna send my variables over to the Marketing Cloud server, requesting a token, and there you have it. Request was 200 OK, came back perfectly in one second, and we have our token completed. Now, the really cool thing is, inside of our Salesforce Marketing Cloud APIs collection here, we have these scripts that's gonna run for us, this pre-request script. As you can see, it's gonna go ahead and do some logic, it's going to make the call for that token and then save that token for us inside our variables. If I now jump into my environment again, go over here and go inspect environment, I've now got my token has been saved. So I didn't have to go and request anything else, it's gone and saved my token for me to use inside of my variables. Now if your token expires and you get an unauthenticated error when you fire one of these uh, APIs later on, you should become back into our request SMC token call here and you resend the request, resends and redownloads the token just like that. So now we have our Postman environment all set up and ready to use for some Salesforce Marketing Cloud APIs. Let's have a quick look now at some of these APIs in this downloaded package. So we can jump into our REST APIs. Let's have a look at our address folder. Under address, we have the Validate Address API. All right, we can click on it, which opens up a new tab with our Validate Address API, our Post API using the address v1 validate email. We can check it out for ourselves by jumping into our Salesforce Marketing Cloud documentation. We can jump down on our reference page here into our address section, expand address and go down to our endpoints. And sure enough, there is our validate email endpoint. It is a post going to our address v1 validate email. So there it is there, the same API. We do have here in our body tab, what the payload should look like for our body. We do have the email and validators variables. Jump into our documentation. Same thing here using our request example. We can see it's using the email and validators example. And we do have someone's email address here. And back on our postman, we have it pre-filled here as well. So with our token already downloaded and installed, let's press send and see how this API goes. All right, so it has succeeded, but the result has said that the help at example.com has failed. And it failed because the list detective didn't like the email address. Well, that's fair. Example.com is probably not a real email, nor is help at. So let's change it up. How about we do cam at youtube.com. Let's try that one. And we'll go send. And it says, yes, perfect. So apparently, the syntax MX and the list detector have all said that cam at YouTube is an okay email address. How oh, good. All right, so that's fun. Let's try the next one down. We have the assets content builder folder and we have a query and content. So for assets, we can query and we can do a simple query to return all assets. Okay, very cool. Let's send away and return all assets in our marketing cloud instance. This one's a GET request using the asset v1 content assets. So we can probably jump in here, have a look at our assets. And we have here a simple query. Let's have a look, content assets, yep. We can return back with some filters, page numbers, page sizes and so on. All right, so we can return back a lot of information. And the usage here is order by, you can filter by name, okay, very cool and it should return back a payload of the assets. So with that, let's jump back into Postman and it's done, okay, it took 30 seconds and downloaded two and a half megabytes, but we've got 50 assets of my 210 assets from Content Builder. And apparently I've got a HTML block called Cam Test Block. All right, and there's my contents of it. All the information, the thumbnails there as well, and here is the contents of my cam test block. Apparently I was testing some server-side JavaScript. All right, very cool. So as you can see, Postman is really easy to install, set up, and use to test your Salesforce Marketing Cloud APIs, particularly if you are a consultant or architect who has to jump between multiple instances throughout the day. So that'll do it for this video. And I hope you take some time now to go through and explore the collection of Salesforce Marketing Cloud APIs collated by the Salesforce Developers Group. And if you have enjoyed today's video, then please leave a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.